Hello. Good morning, you beautiful people. How the devil are you? Welcome to the channel. Uh, my name's Paul. If you don't already know. Well, it's. Uh... Oh, that hour slipped away quickly. It's uh, five past four in the morning. And uh, started at three o'clock. And I said that hour slipped away quickly. I didn't want to expect it to be. Uh... Oh, there's some lights on problem. There we go. Um, Expected to be four o'clock yet. Uh, you join me on a Friday morning, which obviously I don't normally do. So we'll talk about why later on. You should have just seen me chaining down. Um, we're in our yard at Thirsk, Dalton, Dalton Industrial Estate. We're on a Severfield yard, which is why there's no front camera because I'm not allowed to film in their bit of the yard. I'm allowed to film in our bit, but not in their bit. Oh, and it's flipping cold, hence the hat. Well, apart from that, my hair's a mess. My hair's getting way too long and I need to have it cut. I, I can't deal with it. Uh, if you watched last week's video and I called out um, another tic oh, TikToker, right, still no response, still not heard anything. So I'll just give up on that one. <coughs> so I'm going to get my wife to cut my hair this weekend. Right, super quick, this bit, I'll catch up with you when we're actually leaving. I said, we're at security now to get paperwork. I'll catch up with you when we get out the gates. See you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, um, yeah, we don't, we're, we're not done, we're not tipped. <laughs> We've uh, got paperwork. Paperwork. Right, um, we've got. I've got a lamp up here, um, camera light. Let's see what it's like. I have no idea. Let's see how bad the hair is. Oh man, itchy. Although it's cold outside, it is cold outside. It's minus two. Um, that's warm. Copper sponsor. Look, copper sponsor. Nation assist. I will try and remember to put the banner at the bottom corner. I do forget. Sorry, Ralph. I do keep forgetting. I've really got to stop that. We've really got to stop that. Uh, right, so the plan for today, well, for this, well, yeah, for today, because I ain't doing much else. Um, it is Friday, as I said. Um, so the plan is to go to Corby, scratch my ankle. Yeah, we're going to go to Corby. Uh, and deliver the steel. I don't know if you noticed when I was chaining down, it's actually blue steel as well, which is it's a difference, isn't it? Very often we get blue steel. Well, I don't even know if I've ever moved blue steel. Done green, done red, done white, done grey, done darker grey. Can't say I've ever done blue. Uh, yeah, so Corby, it's 139 miles away. We're due there at 7 o'clock. Currently, right now, I've got an ETA of 2 minutes past 7. Not my problem. Um, I was in here last night. I had enough time to. Um, get the load on my back, get it chained down, um, but it wasn't loaded, so well, what can I do? I can't, uh, I can't, you know, I can't do miracles, so I am quite good at my job, but magic, I'm really not that good at that. <coughs> really not that good at that. So yeah, the reason I'm filming on Friday, if you follow my socials, um, social media, Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. You will have seen me post on uh, Wednesday evening that I ended up in A&E. Uh, I was in uh, York A&E. Uh, for those of you who don't know what A&E if you're out of the country, if you live overseas, that's the accident emergency. Um, I won't bore you with details, but uh, basically my left leg has been swelling up going down, swelling up for a little over a week. Um, starting to get a bit concerned about it. My wife's giving me all this and having a go, telling me I need to get it sorted out. She's right, justifiably so, she's right. So I rang uh, out of hours doctors and um, she had me send her some photographs, uh, you know, of the leg itself and then of the, both my legs, 
uh, you know, for comparison. And yeah, it, it was about a third bigger. My left leg's about a third bigger than my right leg. So anyway, she immediately was really concerned and thought it was a blood, 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 blood clot. Which, for those of you don't know, if you've got a blood clot, no matter where it is in your body, if part of that blood clot or the whole blood clot starts to move, uh, travels through your veins, get into your heart, lungs, etc., and cause you major, major problems to the point of fatality, it can kill you. So she was unbelievably concerned. Uh, I had to go to a &E now. She says, if you don't go to a &E, she says, I know where you are. She says, because you know, your, your phone's pinged. She says, I know where you are. She says, I will send an ambulance. Oops, okay, love, I'll, uh, I'll go to a &E. So that's what I ended up doing, and that was on Wednesday evening, my tea time. It was about five o'clock. I left here, so I parked here, luckily. So I jumped in my car. And um, I went to a &E. And uh, they did blood tests. Uh, checked my blood pressure. Blood pressure's a bit high, um, which I knew it was going to be. But um, she, um, they did, uh, oh, a lovely lady called Claire took my blood. Really, really nice. Had a lovely chat with her. Um, took some blood, blood samples. They went off and they were analysed. About an hour later, I got shouted in to a, a chap called Liam, a doctor. And 99.9% uh, certain it's not a blood clot. It's nothing serious. It's nothing life threatening. Um, um, nothing life threatening. And get off. Uh, they think it's just water retention, um, which is making the legs swell. So we'll just keep an eye on it. It is uncomfortable. It can be uncomfortable, but it is what it is. I'll deal with it. Hold my speed pack back and let this truck come past. A change breeze. So yeah, that's it basically. There's nothing more I can do. They could have given me um, medication for the water, um, you know, to reduce the water retention. Um, I could be, I could wear compression stocking on that leg to reduce the swelling, blah blah blah. Suck it up and get on with it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to suck it up and we're going to get on with it. We'll stay in the lanes. Um, so yeah, I got back to the truck at about half past two yesterday morning. I'm supposed to be on the road at two o'clock, going to Corby where we're going now. But obviously, I'd spoken to her, kept them in, in uh in the loop as they were and they were brilliant about it they, uh, they took the load off me and gave it to somebody else didn't give me any work um, when I got out of the hospital at uh, about quarter past two um, at ten past two I rang, rang the night shift told them uh, I says please don't contact me until about half past seven so I need to get some sleep uh, and sure enough quarter to eight Patrick rang me, which is fine. Um, asking how I was, am I, am I okay to work? You know, I'm sure I'm okay to work, etc. Um, and yeah, so we did a Dalton to Moulton yesterday, and then um, I took the trailer to Baltry for off hire because it was a hire trailer. But it was all good, all good. So that's it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Uh, I will say, if Lee Holt watches this, Lee Holt drives for Pollock, he's got their black uh, Mercedes. Um, I was messaging with him when it was all going off, because he has had a blood clot. And cheers Lee, I appreciate your, your support and your advice mate, so I really appreciate that, thank you very much. <coughs> oh yeah, sorry, I know I said that was it, but... All your support on the uh, Instagram and Facebook page, uh, on the post that I put up, really appreciate that guys, it, it really did mean a lot, because I was a little bit worried, uh, I don't really scare about health uh, too easy, you know, if, if, if I'm ill, I'm ill, suck it up and get on with it, you know, get treatment for it if I need treatment, um, but I'm not one to, oh I might die, well if I die, I die, if it's my time, it's my time, isn't it, it's quite a stressing about it. Um, but you guys, that was a little bit stressing. <laughs> um, but you guys were brilliant. Uh, the, the amount of comments and uh, messages I've got received, uh, every single one of them was was positive, above and beyond positive. So yeah, thank you, each and every one of you. I really appreciate that. I can't, I can't thank you enough.
Oh. oh, I just touch on that light. I don't know what it's like. I've no idea. I'm not going to clue. We'll find out when I come to edit. Uh, but on that light, um, it was bought by one of you guys for me and sent to me. Um, I have got two. That one and another one sent by two different people, um, and they were sent through the uh, Amazon wish list. Yes, I am begging for those that think it's begging. I'm not. I don't charge anybody for watching my videos. My videos are all produced for free, etc., etc. Slow it down for this bend. Um, but if you choose, if you wish, if you want to support the channel, there are various options in the description. Uh, one of them being Amazon wish list. Well, there's a list of products that I could do with out of my price range or you know, with a house moving out I just haven't got the money to buy them so if you fancy supporting the channel and you can and you want to please do really appreciate it thank you very much so yeah thank you for the uh, the guys that have sent stuff already it is good of you really appreciate that thank you very much right I'm going to stop waffling and wittering on now I'm going to get down the road a bit um, not too far stop at Weatherby Services and just check the chains because it's not a very nice load. You might, sorry, yeah, you might notice on the, on the uh, time lapse right at the beginning, um, I was cranking one of the ratchets down and um, I cranked it down, then I undid it, unwound it, put it back on. That was because the beam at the top was, was sliding in, it was moving inwards. Um, yeah, it's not, not loaded very well this one, to be fair. So I'm just going to keep a really close eye on it, so I'll stop it about is it 10 miles or so and I will double check it so well, I'm going to quickly loose now guys I'll catch up with you guys when it's a bit uh, a bit brighter maybe maybe not won't be speak to you soon catch you in a bit guys bye for now hi guys um, well we're here um, somebody had forgot to record <laughs> I, uh, I forgot to record on Wayne. I was chatting to a friend on the phone um, but yeah, we're here, we're in Corbury, it is five past seven, so we're pretty much bang on time, but there's nobody on site yet anyway, so let's just book in, arrive, um, so yeah, I might put the drone up, yeah, let's go put the drone up, see you in a bit. Snug. Um, what time are we on now? Half past nine. Half past nine. Well, as I said, we got here at five past seven. There you are. Let's car to the security chap. Cheers, Paul. Thank days. you. Seat ball, don't we? Stop people showing, have we? We'll pull up behind our chap here. Clear my mirrors. Rough. We'll pull in here for a moment or three. And clean. 
them in. As the whole cab is, to be fair, inside and out. I've really, uh, really been neglecting it lately. It's better. Right, so yeah, we tipped in Corby. Corby. Um, yeah, two and a half hours. And about five minutes to actually tip me. One lift. A whole lot came off in one lift. Couldn't record on site. I did ask the question, but it won't let me. We're now going to. I don't know, somewhere. Oldbury. I don't know, it's a WV post course, it's Wolverhampton post course, I think it's Albury. A company called Barn Shows, it's a steel place. They do bending, steel bending. And that's going back to our yard at Thursk, and that'll be me done. Because I worked all day Sunday, and it's now Friday, and I've got to be done by today. But I don't have to have to be. I can run in in the morning. Um. Yeah, people say you can't run a six, uh, seven, you know, seven days. Ah, chap just flashed me then. You see me flash me and went like that? It's because it still left me roof lights on. Um, yeah, you, people say you can't run seven days. Well, yeah, you can, strictly speaking, you can. Um, because I started at nine o'clock on Sunday. As long as I'm back in the yard before nine o'clock tomorrow morning, card out, and on weekly rest, before nine o'clock, and then that's perfectly legal. So I can run in in the morning, if need be. Don't really want to. Oh, so I don't think I've mentioned, I've been away for two weeks. I, uh, I weekended out last weekend. Um, convenience more than anything for work, or for the guys at work. They wanted me to do one extra job, which I couldn't physically do, because of driving time, I think it was duty time, I can't remember. Uh, but I didn't have enough hours to do it. <coughs> but uh, we were, we were, we're getting behind a little bit on work. You know, we've got too much work on. It's not a bad thing. But we're getting behind a little bit, so every little bit helps, as I say. So I suggested I stayed out. You know, I'd do the job, run my time out, and then uh, back up, which is what I did. So I spent Saturday, I parked up Friday night, spent Saturday parked in... Doncaster Services, uh, M18, M180 junction there. Um, and then, as I say, I started on Sunday at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Oh! I'm going to change lanes. So, yeah, obviously, I've, I need to compensate my rest this weekend as well. So, if I do run in the morning, it'll mean it'll be a, a, a late start on Saturday, on, uh, on Monday. I should have gone, maybe kind of, maybe I could have gone then. It's indicating off. Um, come on, mate. Nobody's going to hit you because I'm here. Jeez. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I owe five and a half hours um, weekly rest. Uh, because I shortened my weekly rest this week, this last weekend. I only had um, 39 and a half hours rest. So I owe five and a half hours. So if I don't get back tonight, obviously I need I need a 50 and a half, 50 hours, 30 minutes rest, let's put it that way. 50, 50 hours and a half, 50 and a half hours, yeah, you know what I mean. I need a 50 and a half hours rest this weekend to compensate for last weekend. Um, oh, I'm not even going to go, I'm not even going to mention that, but depending on who you talk to, and I can never get a straight answer on this, and I've been doing this job a long time. Um, some people say it doesn't have to be paid back this week. Now those hours have to be paid back in bulk, as in a lump sum. You can't do two hours this week and three and a half hours next week. 
Um, it's got to be paid back in one block. Um, and some say that you can do it over two. Uh, you know, you can do it two weeks later. So I don't have to pay it back this week. I have to pay. It. It's got to be paid back by the end of next next weekend. I, I don't know. It's a simple answer. So I've always, if I reduce one week, I pay it back the next week. And you don't get it wrong then, do you? So let me just clarify that, just, just to clarify. Yeah, clarify to clarify. I reduced last week by five and a half hours. So this week, of my 45 minute, uh, 40, let's rewind. Start again. Last weekend, on my weekly rest, I reduced that 45 hour weekly rest by five and a half hours. So I took 39 and a half hours rest. So now I now owe five and a half hours rest. So this weekend coming, I need to take a 50 and a half hours rest. That's 45 normal, 45 uh, weekly rest. 45 hour weekly rest. Yeah, 45 hours. I was thinking of 46 or something, so it's 45. I'm sure it's 45. It's 45. It is 45. <laughs> Yeah, it's 45. Um, so yeah, so this weekend I've got to take a 50 and a half hour br uh, break. So if I don't get finished till tomorrow morning, it's gonna be a bit rusty. Uh, so if I don't get finished till tomorrow morning, I can't effectively start for two days. So if I finish, uh, it wouldn't be too bad to be fair. If I finish at say six o'clock tomorrow morning. Two days is 48 hours, isn't it? So at 6 o'clock Saturday morning, 6 o'clock Sunday morning, 6 o'clock Monday morning, I still owe another two and a half hours. So yeah, it wouldn't be bad. It'd be a half past eight on Monday morning I could start. <coughs> it wouldn't be too bad. I don't really want to work it. I don't want to work tonight though. I want to go home. Stuff to do. I'm questioning now when it is a 45 out of 40. 45 hour rest, I'm sure it is. I don't know, I'm really am questioning now. I'll definitely put it on the screen for you guys. I'm sure it's 45 hour rest. Am I just being stupid or what? I think I'm just being stupid. I'm racking my brains there guys, I really am sorry I went quiet then, I? I'm racking my brains trying to think it's 45, 46, don't know, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll research it, let you know. But I'm going to scoot for now, stop waffling and talking up, up to junk, um, and we'll get on to uh, towards wherever it is we're going, I, I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just following the sat -nav. See you a bit guys, bit of time lapse maybe? Yeah, do a bit of time lapse, see you in a bit, bye for now.
Hi guys, I'll do it again. I, uh, I forgot to record. <laughs> Sorry. Heads all over the place. I do apologise. But uh, we're in Barnshaws, just outside Dudley. Um, we loaded with um, 15.4 metres, I think they are. Beams of. This place does metal bending, so it's got a slight, slight radius in it. These will go back to uh, server field at Dalton first, but um, it's not going to get there until tomorrow morning now. It's a three hour drive, it's ten past one, and I'm out of hours at four o'clock. So I suppose I could start wagging up on it, it could, could help. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get back tonight. Uh, Trailer out, yes. Departure confirmed. Yeah, that one done, that one done. That one's done. These guys are waiting to go home. Or to finish at 1 o'clock on a Friday. Yeah? That'd be nice. So we're uh, the trailer stretched open one hole. Um, just to accommodate. For those of you who don't know, the trailer is 13.5, 13.7, it's closed, metres. Um, let's say this is 15 point, oh, it's I can't quite remember. Not open moment that with the gate shut. Oh, so they're ready to go home. Hit the trees. Realizes that I'm trailing. Yeah, all the way. Idiots. Oh man, it's heavy. It's quite heavy. So currently, we've got no delays whatsoever, so I'm only just going to be short getting back, which is really quite frustrating. Well, it is, but it isn't. You know, I earn some good money for uh, running in for an hour or two in the morning, so. Works for me. I think what my plan is, um, I'm going to get down the road, leave myself about an hour and a half to run in the morning. Or as soon as I start hitting traffic, to be honest, I'll just quit. I'll quit for the night. Um, and then take minimum break, and uh, which will be 11 hours, and then go again in the morning. Um, so whatever, that, whatever time I quit, 11 hours from then I'll start again get up to the yard, do whatever I need to do, drop the trailer, chuck and chain it, all that good stuff, park my truck up, do my paperwork, and then what I might do then is get on the bunk for a couple of hours, because it's going to be 2-3 o'clock in the morning. So I might just get on the bunk for a couple of hours, get a couple of hours to kip, um, and then jump in the car and uh, two on home. Otherwise, I'm going to be in bed by 6 o'clock tomorrow night. You know, I've been away for two weeks, I want to spend some time with the family. So if I get a couple of hours while they're still in bed, I'll get home, edit this video, which is what I normally do on a Saturday morning, and then I've got the rest of the day with the uh, with the family. I'm hoping to get out walking at some point this weekend. So I'm a leg goals up for that. It's, it's not bothering me when I walk. It's just swollen. So, but he did say I need to exercise it. Oh, we'll see. Oh, he actually said I need to rest. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I might do, might not. We'll see. So I know I said last week there'll be a lot more outside footage. Well, you've got a bit of chaining down this morning, didn't you? And you've got uh, some drone footage, so there was more. But obviously it's a bit of an unprecedented week with my little uh, probably sick and dying leg. Um, and I wasn't going to record at all, to be honest, because I just wasn't feeling it because of it. Um, please don't pull out. Okay, thank you. Um, but, you know, you guys, you deserve it. Deserve it? You know what I mean. I've made a commitment to you guys, you know, and I should have done that commitment, and I don't feel like I've been doing so of late. So, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. Somewhat. <laughs> we'll try and get back to normality next week. It needs to be that way.
Yeah, lots of that junk from there. That was a bit, a bit of a brain fart then. Oh yeah, I questioned my mate earlier <laughs> about the, uh, the weekly rest. It is 45. I knew it was 45. I don't know, I was thinking it was 46, but I knew it was 45, but it is. He's confirmed it's 45. And he says, remember it as the same same break you've got to have. So your daily driving, you know, your driving rest is 45 minutes. So your weekly rest is 45 hours. Just an easier way to remember it. I knew I were right. You know when you start questioning yourself. But anyway. So hopefully, um, we've got, well, I've been in contact with a, with a company, and I had quite a good email this morning off them. So hopefully within the next week or two, I'll be using a new camera system. Notice what I said, camera system. Um, this company, if they come good and they do send me out what they've said they're gonna send me out, it is gonna be for a re review. They are sending me it for free of charge, and it will be a review. But I've approached them because I've seen this system on another channel who did a review on them, and I thought that is a cracking idea that would work quite well it's a three channel system so it's got it's a dash cam basically it's a three channel dash cam so you've got front rear and internal so my thinking is front out the windscreen rear camera back there pointing out the windscreen and then the internal where you are up there big thing about it is the internal's got infrared we'll see We'll see if it works. I'm certainly going to give it a try. Well, obviously, I'm going to do the review on it. Worst case scenario, my wife wants a dash cam set. <laughs> so if it don't work out how I want it for the uh, for the videos and the vlogs, um, then I'll just put it in her car. I'll fit it in her car. It's not a major drama. Um, but we'll see how it works. See how it works out. But that should be in the next couple of weeks. That's quite interesting, exciting. I think that's all I've got for you. Oh, regarding the vans, last week I mentioned about the Ivco Daily. I think I've settled on a Citroen Lip Relay. Mainly because most of the Citroen Relay is galvanised, so it doesn't seem to rot. And they're cheap. So I've kind of maybe settled on a Citroen Relay. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So I even Anyway, so a quick update on that. So, right, ladies and gents, boys, girls, and all those that are confused, I'm going to leave you tonight, or well, today, this week. I really do hope you've enjoyed it and we'll try and get back to uh, decent content, proper content next week and I will see you all there. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Subscribing is completely free, don't be like my plank of a mate and thought you had to pay, but you don't, it's completely free. Hit the notification bell, get notified every time I upload. Hit the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Twitter? I don't even use Twitter! <laughs> TikTok. Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> Jerk, I don't even use Twitter. <laughs> oh, bless. What a finish. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the, uh, the links in the, uh, in the description if you want to help the channel out financially. Uh, you know, buying products or just donating, whichever suits. You don't have to. It's entirely your choice. If you do, I really do appreciate it. For those that have, I really appreciate it. Two different people last week bought me, uh, bought me a coffee. Um, so thank you, gents. Those two gentlemen, I assume by the names. So thank you, gents. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, check out those links. And I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for riding along with me, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.